No, I'm I'm done. As far as talking to these, <clears throat> uh, you know, you know who I'm talking about. I might e I don't even mean trying to get with them to sleep with them or date them or marry them and procreate with them. I'm talking about having overall conversation. I was, you know, I started to go to the um to the Democratic uh, convention last night because it's right up the road here to the Chase Center where Kamala Harris was last night or Kamala Harris was last night. I was going to go and I was going to take, you know, my phone and <clears throat> off camera, but I was going to let y'all be able to hear it. I was going to ask women three questions, black women, three questions. Do you view Kamala Harris as a black woman? And the next question was going to be, um, do you know she's married to a white man? And does that influence how you view her if they didn't know? And then the third question would be, if Barack Obama was married to a white woman, would you have voted for him? And I'm glad I didn't go because there would have been they would have lied about something. There would have been something there that would have been a lie or something there that, to be honest with you, that I wouldn't have agreed with. Because, you know, one thing that white supremacy has really done, they have really made it to where black men and black women. I don't want to say don't like each other, but I will say don't get along. I will say that. I don't I don't want to say I don't like y'all, but I will say I don't get along with y'all. And no matter like no matter what, you can't disagree with you and you want to blame us for everything, but you don't want to respect us. Like, cause I, I, I made the mistake. Here's another thing. Don't, don't ever, don't talk politics with nobody. Okay. Because I, I don't know who I'm talking to as far as what your demeanor is, but if it's any, anything like I've never talked politics with anybody and it didn't end up in an argument. It didn't end up to where we had animosity towards each other. Never. Or at least I had animosity towards them because they didn't agree with me. I don't understand why. Well, I do understand how they're using uh, Kamala to, to influence these black women. And it's working. It is truly working. I, I Like I said, don't have a conversation about politics. But just recently, I'm talking about I needed I needed to calm down before I even got on the airways to talk about this. But about a half hour ago, I was at a restaurant and got involved in a political conversation with this black woman. Uh, not attractive, so it don't matter. But it does matter because you can't get along with them no matter what. You can't have civil conversations with them. You just can't. And when I would pose to her, okay, Trump is better than Biden. No, Biden is better than Trump. In what way? They they just had every everything was about how bad Trump is, how bad Trump is, how bad Trump is. But nothing about how good Biden is. And we got to give Biden a chance. But the point I'm making is I'm done trying to reason with black women to try to get along with them. I'm done. The best thing for me to do is really to not talk to them at all because I can't talk to them about anything without them being stupid. Or saying something dumb or saying something that is just completely indoctrination talk. Like, really. Like, they're so indoctrinated and they don't even see it. They see, all they see is that we're attacking them. Where Where is the policy in anybody's program talking about, you know, how are black men going to be affected by this? Only, 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 only policy that they want to see us be affected by is the prison industrial complex. That's it. And Kamala Harris is straight up. And Joe Biden, okay, Joe Biden wrote the crime bill in 94. And who's the face of crime? Right. And then you got Kamala Harris, who was a prosecutor, a, a tough federal prosecutor against black men, federal federally prosecuting or just prosecuting black men, throwing us in jail, doing it to poor people, black people. And they're the Democratic ticket, but yet and still, you black women don't see that they're using you. They're, they're saying these black women are so dumb, we'll, we'll get them to vote for us, and we're against their warrior class of people. Like, I saw a picture of all these black women with these automatic machine guns. Like, that's, that's not, there's nothing good about that. Women ain't, if, if our race has got women as the warrior class, oh, we're going to get our asses kicked. Because women ain't, they're not built for war. They're not built for it. 
That's how they're that's how they think they're going to win out in all this. They're getting rid of us. That's why the heterosexual black male, they don't want nothing to do with him because they know they can't defeat him if they come together. I've said this before in other videos. When I was down in Florida, I was at a jujitsu seminar and I was the only black male there. The only one. A whole bunch of white guys, Spanish guys, white looking Spanish guys. Nobody spoke to me. As a matter of fact, they made it. They made it a point that they weren't going to speak to me. So another brother came in. Then they, then I saw fear in a couple people's eyes. I saw him look around. Then I saw him look over at me, and then they spoke then. What does that tell you? They don't want no black male unification. They don't. They're not built for it. They're not ready for it. They can't handle it. But the way you black women act, it's almost like we don't want to protect y'all. I think, yeah. Yeah, because I'm one of the ones that y'all will be running to when it's time to be protected. Believe you me. And I'm going to like basically because there'll be no incentive because I don't I'm not sexually driven to protect you. So why would I do it? It would only be the ones in my family that I would be looking to protect. That's it. All the rest of y'all, man, can go vote for Kamala Harris.